This is a quick video demonstration of our DDR-FE016-480 uh, and this is our federal unit or security camera unit and I'm going to be showing you what it comes inside the box and how the DVR look like. As you see, uh, all of our DVRs come with the accessory box. Within the accessory box you can find your uh, manuals and uh, instructional videos. It has some of the brackets for you to install uh, on a rack mount or if you wanted to install a CD burner the brackets are going to be there. Also your terminal connections for you to put your RS-485 for your PDZs and alarm also, it will come with a mouse, an optical mouse for you to access uh, the GUI interface of the DVR. Your power cable, HDMI cable, your pigtail to, uh, for you to extend your audios after the, the fifth uh, port on the DVR for the audio. So the DVR has four um, embedded audio inputs on the motherboards. If you wanted to extend it all the way to 16, you have to use this pigtail. Uh, the Ethernet cable for you to put it on your router and some um, um, SATA cables for you to put your hard drives and burners. Also it will come with a remote control and as you see this DVR hasn't changed. The front plate is still the same as our Ultimate Series DVR. You will have the two USB on the front. Here's the little compartment for you to put the DVD burner. The indicator lights right here. Uh, your front panel uh, uh, buttons for you to access the OSD if you want to. We recommend to use uh, the mouse. It's more intuitive. It's easier to use. Uh, also, you will see the jog for you to change the uh, layout of your cameras and the power button right here. On the back, this camera it looks almost exactly the same as our uh, Ultimate DVRs. You will have your 16 video inputs, 16 loop outs, video out and spot out, you have your uh, four audio inputs built in on the motherboard for your audio and also um, audio out, mic, in, mic out, you will have your, audio, your alarm inputs and outputs, the RS-485 uh, PTZ or the RS-485 controller for you to put PTZ cameras that are labeled A and B, A is positive, B is negative, your uh, DV9 connection for you to put uh, it actually is not DV9, it's D25. Uh, this is for you to extend your audio uh, pigtails. So uh, once you wanted to extend all the way to 16 for your audio, so you have to put the pigtail right there. It's labeled properly that right there. You will have, you will see that this unit has dual NIC cards. So uh, this dual NIC cards they are gigabit uh, capable of, so you can put it on a switch that is support a gigabit switch, you know, a, for a faster speed. And uh, one of the things that there are different between this DVR and other DVRs is basically one of uh, one of the main features is that it has a dual gigabit LAN. So you can have you can configure like fault tolerance, uh, you can configure RAM routing, you can configure um, uh, multi-address, and so on. I will I will now go in depth, but that's why this uh, DVRs have or this serial DVRs has uh, dual gigabit. Also, you will see your IS-232 HDMI, eSATA for backups, and an extra two USBs for you to do backups or connect a, a mouse and the VGA connection. So this DVR supports up to three monitors. So it will be HDMI, VGA, and video out or BNC. Okay. Um, some other things that you will find on this DVR also let me point out that this DVR is for enterprise level uh, and the reason why is because you know having the dual NIC or the dual LAN uh, RJ45 connections for your Ethernet also this DVR records 30 percent higher resolution than uh, our ultimate DVR so this is a step above of our ultimate DVRs and um, it you know the 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 image on for the recording it's going to be 30 percent higher so this DVR actually if you look at it it looks exactly the same it has um, it's a dual core unit and also I mean it has the same capabilities for such as like display resolution it displays up to uh, 1080p just for the display resolution but the recording on this one is 
960 by 480, which is 30% higher than a regular um, D1 uh, unit, which D1 it will be 704 by 480. So having this kind of unit, it will allow you to have a better or, or a bigger image, especially when you have it plugged in into your big TV. So that's what it, you know, it, it's a good unit because of that. It's also because they have more features such as the dual NIC. It supports up to 24 terabytes if you're using a three terabyte hard drive or up to 16 if you're using uh, two terabytes. Also this is, as I said, you can be, uh, this is a dual core unit. It records at 30 frames per second on all of the channels. Uh, and it's capable of uh, being viewed from your phone, uh, from a Mac computer, from a PC. It has the built-in web service, and I hope you like it. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.